One of the new features for modeling and effects in 3ds Max 6 is the shell modifier. Here you can see I've got a simple object which has only one side to it as is typical for polygonal geometry. Now often you'll want to actually add a thickness to this depending on what you're building. Typically this can be very difficult as you can get some fairly convoluted surfaces that don't just easily do a straight extrusion. So in this case I can go in and add the shell modifier to it. I'm just going to run down here and grab shell and you can see that it's created this extrusion and I can control the inside extrusion or the outside extrusion. This is especially useful if you're doing fragmentation and you're trying to make sure the objects don't overlap each other or intersect each other. Being able to control which way it extrudes is very useful. Also I can control the number of segments in that extrusion very quickly and easily. And another nice thing is I can add a bevel to it. So not just a straight bevel but I can pick any spline and use that to control what the bevel looks like. So in this case here we've now got this rather complex bevel happening on the model. Now beyond beveling it, we also want to be able to control materials. So in this case, for instance, I can override material ID on the inside. So this is actually now grabbing a completely different texture for that. I can also override it on the edge and the outside. Now the thing I want you to notice is that it is smart enough to recognize that the mapping should line up as it travels across the, two, the three different chunks. And we do that simply by telling it how to deal with the edge mapping whether it's copying it, whether there's any, whether it's stripping it or interpolating it, it'll automatically do that. And when you're done, you can also have it automatically go in and select the edges, the faces, uh, whatever part you want, which will be more useful for the next portion of this operation.